So we have a new guitar for the channel, the Jackson Randy Rhodes Minion. Now, this is the first time you've seen a Jackson on the channel, and there's a very good reason, and few reasons why I have this guitar, as opposed to buying a new Dean. But before we get into that, let's just hear how it sounds. So I've had this guitar for about two months and have made some uh, significant upgrades to it. First of which being the pickups, which are very, very, very special. And I'll be doing a video about these pickups, the Patterson Sonic pickups, um, because they are handmade and it was fitted for this guitar specifically. But that's for a future video. We're gonna talk about Patterson Sonic pickups in a lot more detail in future. Another upgrade that have been done is that I've had the tone control removed entirely and have two volume pots. So I've got one here, which is for the neck volume and one here for the bridge volume so I can do exactly what I can do with my other guitars and just flick the pickup switch and use it as a kill switch. So now the main crux of the video of why I have a Jackson instead of a new Dean. First of all the size. The Minion series of Jacksons are fantastic and I've played the normal I think it's a soloist Minion and I was really impressed with not only just the playability but also the specs of the guitar as well. Like you, you'd never really find a guitar for, in this price range with 24 frets, okay? So now let's talk about frets very quickly. Dean currently offer 24 frets with four types of guitars. So they have their, they have a blue ML that they've just put for sale with a Kayla Tremolo. They have, it's a, it kind of counts which is the limited edition ML, which has 24 frets in the Evertune. And you've also got the Vengeance series, which is the new V shapes, and the Zero series, which are like the new Z shapes, similar to the Dave Mustaine shapes. Now, considering the price range, you know, this was 140 pounds, those guitars are 800 pounds and above. <laughs> you can see where I'm going here. So. Um, I wanted a guitar for t with 24 frets, first of all, and I only currently, in this room, I only have two guitars here with 24 frets, okay? One I use for live shows, the, others I the other is the ML, which is the, the one I use for some YouTube videos and stuff, but I wanted something that was just a bit more of a practice guitar, something that was a bit more difficult to play, and just something different, basically. So 24 frets is one of the main reasons why I picked this. The second of which is the shape, um, because I have the the Glary that was gifted to me from the company, I got that last year, and that's currently in drop A, because I was learning some Nile stuff, and I can just never get used to the body shape, and I wanted like a more portable guitar that was just a little bit easier to just sling around and move about, and uh, that was a V shape, which this delivers. Like this is a very very small guitar compared to some of my other guitars. It's just this little this long spike here is absolutely massive. When you, if you take that away, you know the guitar is really quite small. But also I was surprised with how comfortable it was. And um, you know this was I didn't play the guitar before I bought it. It was just well it was mainly it was a gift from my dad. And 
we just um, well I thought you know this this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for right now which is a lot of you know a portable good 24 fret aggressive looking nicely playing heavy metal guitar so that was another thing so the shape is quite nice as well it doesn't sit quite as nicely as the uh, Dean's um, I think it might be because of the the angle of the body here but you know it's, it's not too bad it's nice it does the job and I just want to talk about the neck very quickly because it's not the most comfortable neck it's very playable it's very fast but for my hands and the way I play when I'm playing all these like big 1349 <laughs> You know, your hand isn't as, it doesn't feel as comfortable. There, it's kind of like too thin and um, it kind of digs into the top of your thumb and it just doesn't sit right. And if you want to put your whole hand on the back of the guitar, you've got to kind of move your elbow in towards you, which isn't very good for technique and it just feels a bit uncomfortable. Um, so I can't really get a good grasp on the um, big chord. <laughs> So that's one of the drawbacks to the Jackson necks, and one of the reasons why I haven't bought a Jackson before is purely because of the neck shape. But this one, you know, it's not too bad, you know, for, for all the solos and stuff. All that kind of stuff, it's absolutely fine. All the shreddy, shreddiness, it's um, quite comfortable. If you're an Ibanez player or you're playing Jacksons already, you'll be very familiar with this style of neck. If you're playing more Fenders and Gibsons and Deans, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Purely because a it's so thin and two the kind of height of the guitar neck is quite quite tall, um, which means it's good for the space between the strings. But when it comes to left hand comfort, it's not to my liking personally. But another thing as well, why I really like this neck is the feel of it. A guitar with a wooden feel is far more comfortable than a satin and a gloss feel which is one thing that I wish that all my Deans had. I just wish it had like a wooden neck because they just feel a lot nicer to the hand. But that's another reason why I kind of wanted this. And it also kind of highlights some things that I wish Dean were doing. It's like, I would have I would have picked a Dean ML or a V shape if they made a three quarter size and still had the same kind of proportions. But the baby Vs and the baby ML just look off. Whereas these roads look really cool. And I wish Dean did make 24 fret models, a lot more of them, and I wish that Dean made more metal looking guitars because, you know, for the price range, this is what, <laughs> this is like probably the best metal guitar you can get for the price range um, without having to spend crazy, crazy money. And even some upper range Jacksons, with even some of the Rose, which do look nice, they don't have 24 frets. I think if you're making a metal guitar nowadays, it has to be 24 frets. And let's take a look at the um, Goat Hall guitarist signature model from ESP. Like, that's a guitar that everyone wants, you know, it's got all of the features that a metal guitarist is looking for, and I think, I think that's kind of shaken up the metal guitar world a little bit, I think, because it's one of those guitars that didn't need to be marketed, it's one of those guitars and shapes and designs that, that could market themselves, just because of the, of the aesthetic, because it just looks so cool, like, Dean could easily make a guitar, and Jackson could make a guitar, and multiple guitars that look that cool and have the same kind of features, but they're kind of not really doing it, and um, I think that's a big shortfall on um, those companies, and that's, again, like I said before, LTD, ESP, they're making the best metal guitars right now, like, hands down, they're making the best stuff because they're listening to the market, they know what the market wants, they've got the build quality and the playability, and it's one of the reasons why there's so many of so many extreme metal guitarists playing them. Like it's obvious they're making the best guitars, so you know it just goes hand in hand. And um, I think these other companies could take a look at that and think, hey, hang on, we can make something that's just as good. So guitarists like us have more of a variety of options. We can find more guitars with active pickups. We can find uh, more guitars with Floyd Roses. They're you know 24 frets. And you know if they're you know if more people buy them, then Companies can make bigger orders to factories in Asia, so it'll bring the price down. So it kind of goes hand in hand um, when it comes to market demand and what companies can do. This Jackson, you're gonna see a lot more on the channel, especially in the next few months. Again, these Panasonic pickups, you will not find any stock Jackson RR Minion that sounds as good as these, purely because these pickups are absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, I'll be talking a lot more about the Panasonic brand and these pickups in the future but yeah that's just this quick video on this jackson 
Um, bef before we finish, just, just hear a bit more riffs. <laughs>